So today I'm making a wood-fired creamy pumpkin pasta in the Alpha One pizza oven. Let's have a look at the ingredients. I'm going to be using chicken thighs, half a butternut pumpkin, chicken stock, nutmeg, garlic powder, onion powder, olive oil, pepper, salt, one whole onion, half a garlic, thickened cream and some spinach and ricotta agnolotti. Okay, so the first part I am going to get a little bit of olive oil and just rub it on that butternut pumpkin. That's going to be going into the wood-fired oven and getting roasted. Put the olive oil on there to get it a little bit cooking. Um, chicken thighs I'm putting on here, some garlic powder onion powder and I'll crack on a little bit of salt and probably do the same for the other side also okay the oven is fired up and it is pretty hot in there I'm gonna chuck this butternut pumpkin in first and see how we go I'll just keep a close eye on it as we go It is cooking. Okay, 10 minutes in, I'm having a look at it and I can see that it's pretty black on the top there. And I'm thinking it's probably too hot to be cooking this pumpkin in. So I'm gonna put the door on just to cut the oxygen down and hopefully uh, cool the, the oven down a bit by, by shutting down the fire. You can see there it's pretty bloody hot. It's 300 degrees, almost 300 degrees Celsius which is huge. I really want it to be 200 or less than 200. So the fire's died down a lot now. Uh, I just waited 20 minutes with the door on. Okay, putting the pumpkin back in and cook it for 20 minutes and just check the progress later. And let's have a look. Okay, pretty roasted. Okay, we'll keep it going. And 20 minutes later again, I'll have a look at it. And that's looking like it's done. So in under an hour, the top's singed and it's pretty much cooked through. We'll have a look on the underside of it and see just how cooked it is. So if the skin has, has gone black there and it's taken all of the cooking, uh, taken all of the heat, that's fine because we'll take we'll toss the skin later. Um, and look at that, that looks just juicy and delicious. That's going to turn into a nice, thick, mushy, creamy sauce later on. Okay. So next up, I'll do the chicken thighs. So I've got a cast iron skillet that's cold i'm just putting it directly in the oven and i'll just keep an eye on it Ten minutes in, it's cooking. okay time to give it a bit of a flip give it a flip and again keep an eye on it just with these ovens the temperatures do fluctuate so you really got to keep an eye on how things are cooking. Smoking away, I think we are done. Yep, that looks done to me. Yeah, still sizzling away. You can see that the cast iron still retaining the heat. There was quite a lot of heat in there. Um, but that chicken's done. I'm going to slice that up. So I'll take that all inside. And first of all, I'm going to get the pumpkin separated from the skin. I'm just trying to scoop it out until I realize it's probably better just to chuck the whole thing in and remove the skin which is what I do at high speed. And there it is, looking good. 
chuck on a bit of salt and pepper and nutmeg. So I just chucked nutmeg on that. It was hard to see there because it happened pretty quickly, but it's quite a lot of nutmeg in there. Slicing this up and putting that back in. So mixing the chicken up. And then to make this more of a sauce, I'm putting chicken stock in. I'll give it a stir until everything's nice and blended. And then just add the pasta. Mix it all in together. Okay, there's still one element I'm missing, and that's an onion. An onion and a garlic. So I've put both onion and garlic in here. I'm just going to cook them again on the skillet give them just a bit of a browning and then I will add them back to that main tray uh, to cook together for the final final part of the sauce okay the heat in there is pretty intense and it doesn't take long um, so I'm just giving it a bit of a stir while give my daughter a bit of a hug she wants to be part of the cooking action as well um, hard to do with one hand but there it is mixed up stirred up okay so I'll combine those onions and garlics with pasta I couldn't get that on camera so uh, it happened off camera now I'm just going to cover this whole mixture because I just don't think that um, there'll be too much evaporation and I want that pasta to get uh, properly steamed and cooked um, or keeping the moisture in there okay last part of this cooking process I'm going to add a little bit of cream there and right now you can just smell so much nutmeg it's, it smells so good I've mixed all that cream back in I'm covering it up again and I'll do 10 minutes and that will be it Okay, there it is, 10 minutes later. Okay, it is so fragrant. You can just smell this just beautiful, delicious, sweet nutmeg smell along with the pumpkin. Okay, let's plate it up and see what it tastes like. Bit of cracked pepper this time on the top and a bit of Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese goes on. there it is and putting a lot of parmesan cheese on this one last touch bit of parsley and that's what it looks like okay it looks pretty good but how does it taste all right let's have a taste here we go taste test bit hot bit hot blow it off blow it off it is unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. That was so good. It's sweet. It's, you know, really fragrant, really delicious. Um, can't be beaten. Perfect for the baby. She likes it. It's, you know, sweet enough. It's a different flavor for her having pumpkin. She likes the pasta as well. And... She will give me a cheers. Cheers, little girl. Yeah, so overall, i got to say that that dish was amazing. Um, the wood-fired smoky flavor didn't really shine through because I had it covered at the end. So um, next time I think I'll try it with it uncovered and see how we go. See if I can get more of that smoke in there. But otherwise, just a fantastic dish. Yum.